Welcome back, guys. This will probably be the end of the trial, maybe. <laughs> These trials always surprise me by how far they actually go. She reached the receiver. S -s Someone moved the bookcase. Hurry, Kayade. Shuichi's trying out the classroom with the trace of a true ultimate detective. Wait for me! Everything I was holding and ran after Shuichi. I'm right, aren't I, Kayade? Of course, the ultimate detective would remember all that. Your words and that smile. Is this your admission of guilt? I don't know why you didn't just take the first blood perk. Hold on! Don't just jump to conclusions! I've still got a lot of questions! <laughs> That's weird! Why do you sound so desperate? Because he really liked Kayade. There's nothing weird about it. There's just no way I could believe someone like Kayade would be the culprit. Yeah, going to not believe it either. What? <laughs> You're a girl. No one wants to convict a girl. Don't worry, Kaede. I'll clear your name. Okay. I refuse to believe that Kaede is the culprit. I still have my doubts. Kind of doubts. Doubts about the noise, of course. Oh, okay. Library should have been quiet, right? If that shot was rolling through the vents, it would have made a ton of noise. Indeed, so much noise. Rentaro would have heard. Well, like all of these are countered by this. Of course, it's a big deal. I refuse to believe that Kaede is the culprit. So I don't know which I one. I still have my doubts. I guess I'll try all of them. Kind of doubts. doubts about the noise, of course. The library should have been quiet, right? If that was God dang it! Mess. Every time I press the wrong damn button. Made a ton of noise. All right. Doubts about the noise, of course. The library should have been. Dude! If that shot was rolling through the vents, it would have made a ton of. Just hit it. Yeah. You didn't make it. They're all the same thing. I refuse to believe that Kaede is the culprit. I still have my doubts. Kind of doubts. Doubts about the noise, of course. The library should have. Okay, it's that one, but I swear all three of them had to do with the noise level. <laughs> the murder occurred while the Killing Game promotional video was being broadcast. How would Kaede have known that was coming, though? So the library would not have been completely quiet at the time. Oh. So that ghastly video drowned out the sound of the shot rolling. It did indeed. What? Kaito, are you done now? Damn it. So it's true then? It certainly seems to be. You're saying Kaede really is the culprit? So that means most of Kaede's sins were committed right before Shuichi's eyes. It's odd that she would choose to hang out with the ultimate detective. Correct. I was with her in the classroom. And when she moved the vent grate aside. And when she lined up the books on top of the bookcase. Huh, there are way more books here than I expected. The bookcase was covered in and with cluttered stacks of books. This is nothing. It might be hard to set up a camera here. I thought so. I'm just gonna try a little harder. Okay, I don't know how to defeat it, but really, it's all right. And 
it was the same when you took the murder weapon, wasn't it? You took the shot put ball when you got the cameras for Mew, right, Kaede? I think I even looked at that one. Okay, it's something I mean, need to go before Mew changes her mind. Oh, sorry. So I think I was holding my backpack and ran after him. So you were hiding it the entire time? Where would she have even hidden it? Well, it just said in her backpack. That's it. <laughs> in her skirt. Kaede's backpack. She was carrying the shot put ball in there. Despite its weight, it would have been easy to carry in a backpack. I noticed you also had a spare vest, which you could have wrapped it in. Is that the original vest? The cameras you were carrying from being damaged. And that means all of this happened right in front of. They keep the bringing that up. Why is that relevant? But we should not blame him for that. None of those actions warranted suspicion at the time, so we might not have... Well, he noticed, he just didn't suspect. That clears it all up, then. Every part of the crime Kaede plotted. That can't be. It's gotta be mistake, right? But if all of that is true, then that's pretty unfortunate. Yeah, it's really weird. I mean, it's Kaede, you know? She kept preaching about working together, and then she goes and kills in cold blood! No, something still doesn't fit. What? Hmm, what doesn't fit? Kaede wouldn't do something like that. Well, obviously, I mean, she certainly... Huh? What? Whoops. I mean, she's not the type, but you were the one that said she did it, right? Yes, I did say that. But murder in cold blood is just not in her character. I truly believe that. I believe in her. Okay, well that's super awesome. Why? <laughs> Why do you still believe in me, Shuichi? Why? Tell me why! Wow, Kaede is a little why insane. Are you doing this? Are you still looking away from the truth? Kaede, what is wrong with you? Not at all. My belief in you is going to lead me to the truth. I'll show you what's behind all this. I'm, I, I'll show you your truth. I have no idea where this is going. This is so weird. I know it's getting crazy, but it's time for the... God damn! Your opponent's on the ropes, but they're in an argument armament mode. Won't listen to you. You have to remove their armaments and refute what they're saying. That's how the argument armament works. The objective is to destroy all your foes' arguments, then strike the finishing blow. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's like surround... She almost dress is dressed like a Persona 5 character. Uh, calm down, I'm trying to look at things. How do I look back and see what has been said? Right when the gauge makes one revolution, press the correct button to shoot the statement. When enough damage, their arm it will break and the music will change. Tempo will also pick up to match the timing. Can't get on the rhythm? Try pressing RB to activate fever. Oh god damn, this thing's still here? Get rid of this, I hate it! Fever time will be invincible and you press any button. You can only activate it when your focus energy is full, so watch it carefully. I'm going to destroy them and give you a final argument. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus, I'm the finishing blow. You supposed to have your logic to refute your, your opponent's final argument. As always, it was a pleasure. You still believe in me? I'm definitely the culprit. Oh, you think I wouldn't do it? Okay, this is a little bit better. I'm definitely the culprit. I'm the one who killed Rantaro. That's the truth of this case. And that's all there is to it. I'm a terrible murderer. I betrayed everyone. I'm the one who killed Rantaro. Remember what I told you? You have to fight for the truth. Shuichi, I know you can do this. If you say you believe in me, then... Don't look 
look away from the truth. Please stop. Just stop. Remember what I told you? You have to fight for the truth. Shuichi, I know you can do this. If you say you believe in me, then... Okay. Do you know what I was trying to do? It's, uh, am I taking her clothes off while I do this? That's a little... Like, when I'm in the process of trying to kill someone. Persuaded by Monokuma. And you weren't trying to save yourself. What you were trying to do was kill the Mastermind. That does make a degree of sense, unfortunately. Kill the Mastermind? Kaede wasn't targeting Rantaro. She was targeting the Mastermind. That makes an incredible amount of sense, actually. killing game. She was trying to save us all. Isn't that right, Kaede? I do like the new thing. I see. Otherwise, everyone would have died when the time limit expired. So, she tried to end the killing game by killing the mastermind? It certainly seems. Which makes sense why. It's my fault. Kaede trusted my detective skills. I told her the mastermind might be there. And that's why she set that trap. It's not my fault. She trusted my detective work and I screwed it up. You did not. Stop. It's not true. Please, don't say it's your fault. <laughs> It'll be harder for me. This is actually really emotional. None of this is your fault. It's mine. Well, she did kind of kill someone, yeah. It's my fault. Shuichi, can I ask you to do one last favor for me? Can you end all of this? What? I want you to reveal everything that happened and... Oh, is this my comic book? Can I make a comic book now? And then, I want you to end this. I can, I can make a comic book. That's my final wish. I understand. I'll end all of this. I'll reveal everything. The truth and the lies. Well, I definitely did not put myself on the list of suspects. I want to help. I wanted to help Grant. We'll now explain the closing argument. Final piece of detective work to end the trial. Closing argument will wrap up the case. You'll have to reproduce the order of events in the case of the form of a comic book. I love the comic book. This recreation is just she was used to talk. There are gaps here and there. Gaps are where a number of pieces are missing. By selecting the panels with uh, press LS to move the cursor over the gaps. And then fit the panel of the empty space with Y. Only the correct panel will fit. Compare the empty space hints with the stock panel to complete the comic. Maybe some of those you cannot select at first. Picking in some gaps correctly will unlock the other panels. Press LB and switch pages. Start filling as many as you can. Thank you, thank you. Okay. So I don't know what this is. Like, where is this in the timeline? I don't... What the hell? I can't even tell what this is. So that's okay. The killing being virtual video plays at a loud volume. I'm so confused. Is that a check mark? Is did I do good? Did I do bad? Okay, I did do good. Several shot ball balls in the wooden box. It was right near the. I wonder if I get Monokuma after hearing the additional movement. 
Didn't spawn for the cameras. I hate that that this red circle makes me feel like I got it wrong. Open the encyclopedia. Turn on the flash function. What we'll boost the clips out of last? Prop the vent grate up. Alright. Bow to Mew Aruma. Is that it? Yes. Classroom vent. I don't know if that has to do with anything. And Tara notices the flash that's right near the end. Nothing. Alright, there's that. Security sensor receiver goes off. Case returns to its original position. All right. Let's see. This is what happened in the classroom one hour before the time limit. Is that it? That is not it. That is that one. Which one am I missing? That one is the one I'm missing. This is the truth of the case. It's interesting it doesn't let you do it wrong. It all began two days prior, when Monokuma gave us the additional motive. The time limit added to this killing game triggered the crime. I like the this the rendition. Some of us decided to form groups to plan our next move. I had my own plan to find the mastermind, and someone offered to help me. At the time, I never would have imagined they would become the culprit. Again, I love how I mean I don't know why they you know, mask who the killer is when we already know. To expose the mastermind. The culprit and I set up hidden cameras in the library. There was a hidden door in the library that showed signs of use. We deduced that the mastermind would return there to let Monokuma out. The next day, <laughs> we asked Mew if she could modify some cameras for our trap. We then went to the warehouse to gather the necessary materials. This is fascinating, but I'm still mad that we have an unreliable narrator that kind of lied to us. But the culprit found something else there. The murder weapon. That's right. The shot put ball. It was used to put shots. They put the cameras, as well as the shot, in their backpack. Then, on the day the time limit would expire, the day of the murder, the culprit and I collected the modified cameras from you and visited the library. Right. Once there, we searched the room for ideal locations to place the cameras. This is a very, very, very difficult trial. I'm curious where we'll go from here. The culprit was preparing the murder. I'm just annoyed that there's information withheld from me until the trial, because it makes it very hard to figure it out. They began by removing the vent grate and laid it inside the air duct. Then 
They move the pile of books on top of the bookcase, pretending to organize them. After that, they placed open encyclopedias on the final bookcase. It appeared <coughs> innocuous enough, but it was actually a path for the murder weapon. That should have tipped him off the fact that she did. I, I didn't realize she went down that far. The culprit also tampered with a hidden camera linked to the security sensor. I was responsible for setting up the other cameras, but that one, I didn't even notice their trick. They used duct tape to keep the flash function on. After the cameras were set, the culprit and I climbed the stairs to the first floor classroom. We kept a lookout for the others and waited for the security sensor to go off. During the stakeout, we saw Kaito and six others go down to the basement. Why is it Kaito and six others and not Rantaro and six others? Rantaro was with them, the first victim. After watching that group enter the game room, I returned to the classroom. That, this is the one weird part of it. How would Kaede have known that there would be music to mask her attack? With about one hour remaining, the security receiver I was holding went off. I assumed it was the mastermind, so I ran out of the classroom to the library. I was in such a hurry, I left the culprit behind. Looking back on it now, that was the last chance I had to stop the murder. You could have known. After I had left, the culprit took the shot put ball out of their backpack and rolled it into the classroom vent. Again, I feel like Kaede should have taken the first blood perk. I mean, it's like, it's. I, I know she didn't want to be a murderer, but she almost killed everyone. And like she need, she died for no real reason. This set the murder in motion. Rantaro had moved the bookcase, triggering the receiver. Unbeknownst to him, the trap had been sprung. First, the modified camera took a picture of Rantaro with the flash on. Rantaro noticed the flash and approached the bookcase to inspect the camera. Yep. The camera flash lured Rantaro directly into the murder weapon's path. So that does make more sense. I was thinking they were saying that just like the angle of it shot over there. The shot the culprit tossed into the vent rolled through the air duct. Came out of the library's vent and kept rolling atop the bookcase. Opening the vent grate and organizing the books was all to create a path. Under normal circumstances, the victim would have been alerted by the noise. This is the big problem with this whole theory. But the promotional video was masking the sound of the shot rolling. The shot kept rolling then fell on Rantaro's head, killing him instantly. By the time we had entered the room, the murder was complete. I imagine, seeing Rantaro's body, the culprit probably thought, I got the mastermind. The mastermind is dead. The game is over. Now we can all go home. But their wish didn't come true. Because Rantaro wasn't the mastermind. It was murder. In an attempt to save all our lives. That is the truth. That's, and yes, I think Kaede wanted to be punished. Behind your lies, Kaede Akamatsu, the ultimate pianist.
And that concludes the events of this case. No. Kayete did it? Yes, she did. Damn it! So that's interesting that it will actually change protagonists halfway through. It is a truth I do not wish to accept. But since Shuichi has brought everything to light, we can at least try to trust the Kaede we've come to know up to this point. The Kaede we've come to know? <laughs> Even if she did commit a crime, what Kaede has said to us is not a lie. She wanted to protect us. And I firmly believe that to be the truth. She did. This is a, by far the most tragic first murder we've ever seen. If that was a lie too, it'd be the last straw for me. I'd have nothing left to believe in. I'm glad it wasn't you, Ryoma, though. I like you. You guys are so nice. Even though I betrayed you all. No, that's not true, Kaede. You were trying to save all of us. Nice job, Shuichi. I didn't expect any less. Damn. What? You were super reliable back there. <laughs> but you still have a long way to go. You need to be more assertive. If you did that more often, you'd be a pretty cool guy. Oh my god, this is tragic. Kaede, why? Why not? Why are you smiling like that? Why are you still trying to get me to be brave? Because you have to carry the banner from here. Why, Kaede? Why are you thinking about everyone except yourself? If you had just been less selfless, you wouldn't have had to murder. Why? Why do you do that? I'm sorry. Stop, stop, stop! At least save it for the end of the trial! God damn it. Like, this is, this is by far one of the ones that's hurting me the most to see end. Looks like the debate's finished, so that means it's voting time! All right, you bastards! Damn! Press the button in front of you to cast your vote! And make sure y'all vote, because refusing to vote is grounds for termination. At last! The heart-racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless finally face off! But we know, I mean, it's, like, the vote is so pointless. Voting is so pointless. Like, do I even, would it matter if I didn't vote for Kaede? <laughs> I mean, it's not surprising. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Obviously, we made the right one at this point in the trial. Akamatsu! <laughs> All rise. Oh, I thought I was getting like thousands of... I was like, what? I got an A. Absolutely right. Well, at this point it goes without saying, but you all voted correctly. The blackened who killed Rantaro Mami is the ultimate pianist, Kaede Akabatsu. What? Good. Don't screw what do you mean good? Is that you want it to end? That's not true. Not really, but could have turned out a lot worse, so this is fine too. I don't get it. It's not it's super horrible, the worst ever. <laughs> Please. Kai, what would possess you to do something like this? 
Don't you can do nothing unless you explain. Well, we already know why she did it, guys. Real. I won't be satisfied until I hear straight from you. Hey. Well, let me a few more minutes of your time then. Just like Shuichi said, I was after the mastermind this entire time. I wanted to kill the mastermind and thought doing that would end the killing game. But. But. Why did. You Maybe they could have been captured. If it hadn't been for the time limit, I probably would have done that. But the time limit capturing them, the mastermind was less likely to work, you know? The mastermind could have just played dumb to run out the clock and kill us all. Yeah. I was worried about that happening. Therefore. And so you sought to kill the mastermind instead. That's right. I made up my mind just before we set the cameras in the library. That was my last chance to save everyone. I couldn't let that chance pass me by. I had to save everyone no matter what. Yeah. Even if you had to kill someone. Yeah. I thought killing the mastermind was our best shot at escaping this place altogether. I, I really believed it too. But <laughs> it never dawned on you. So you thought when you had Monokuma had you right where you wanted. Because without a rest of Monokuma, the killing game started. You really don't get it. Regardless of your reasons, the moment you felt the urge to kill, you'd already lost. You'd be part of the killing game when you allowed the murder to fill your heart. Well, he's not wrong. She's the reason the killing game finally started. Uh, no. But if killing Kaede hadn't done anything, we'd all be dead by now. Right. Kaede save everyone. We no can blame her. I know that. I know. You don't have to remind me. That's why I'm so pissed off. I'm myself for being so so useless. Um, yeah. Huh? That obvious, huh? That's right. But Kokichi, I was being played, and I didn't even kill them. I killed one of our dear friends instead. Why did it was so ter so unforgivable? I took an innocent life. I'm no better than Ryoma. Should all hate blame and be disgusted by me? Wait. Yeah, don't go out like this, Kaede, please. After we found Rantaro's body, when I realized he wasn't the mastermind, I thought about ending it by confessing what I had done. But I couldn't, because of Monokuma's first blood perk. Your... I see. If you confessed there, then then you would have been able to leave. She decided you couldn't leave the place by yourself, and so you kept quiet. Because of the first blood perk, you were forced to hide the truth from us. Yeah. I see. And so the first blood perk worked against the Black End rather than for them. But at the same time, if I did this for everyone, instead of making it easier by confessing, I should lie to you all, so it would be motivate you to keep moving forward. Then. I felt like if I didn't do this, Rantaro's death would have been meaningless. Well then. We're searching for both culprit and masterminder in this class trial. Yeah. Ah, Kaede did mention that. Sorry guys, it is really late. This went on a lot longer than I thought it would. I never wanted to keep my climb a secret. I was going to tell you all eventually. Before I, d I want to expose the mastermind first. When the game was ended, everyone but me would be saved. I thought that was the best way I could atone for killing Rentaro. Sorry. Nah, this is my fault. I was there is no mastermind. Uh, okay. That's what I thought at first, but in the end, we have nothing. <laughs> no one made any moves of the time limit, and the trial was useless. Let's see. Even when she, she was about to be voted as the Blackened, still, they did not appear. Maybe. Yeah, that seriously was a close one. Kaede had just kept her mouth shut. We'd all be dead right now. But... On the other hand, she's only in this mess because she decided to say something at that moment. That's. I wanted to protect Kaede, but I also wanted to unmask the Mastermind. Even when the killer was about to be condemned, they remained hidden. Sorry. That has to mean that the mastermind is not among us after all. What? So, Kaede okay, had the wrong idea the whole time? I see. While her actions were taken under Shuichi's flawed logic. Oh, don't say that, please. Uh, okay. All this happened because my detective work was wrong. If I hadn't been so stupid. I never said anything about a mastermind Kaede. 
Antaro wouldn't have died, and Kaede wouldn't be a murderer. That's wrong. And everyone would be dead, Shuichi. Huh? Because I killed him, not you. Right? But why would you set up this convoluted trap? If you was killed the mastermind, there was no reason for you to cover your tracks. Jeez. Plain and obvious, she did it because she didn't want Shuichi to know. Huh? Yeah. Of course, but I didn't want everyone else to know either. Because I wanted to escape this place with everyone. Because... And you guys wouldn't want to be friends with a girl who killed someone, would you? <laughs> be friends? <laughs> Kaede put a lot of thought into this. She put so much thought, it drove her to mur murder like a lunatic. Yeah. You're such a dumbass. Yeah. I know, right? I I am an idiot. However, Well, let's try the time limit because of that idiocy, though. Right. Yes, we still are alive thanks to you. I, I wanted to be friends. Sorry. Damn. So you're saying everything you do is because you weren't thinking of us? And you hid that you killed him just to stay and help us? How did things... Hi, hello! Alright, I'll... Thank you, Monaco. I was getting... I'm like, oh my god, we get it. What? What, what do you mean? What do you mean that's it? Ah. Father, are you getting bored? That's right. No, Papa gets. You can't stand the kind of tear jerk slock. But I can't stop crying. <laughs> and I see nothing gets past my adorable little cubs. <laughs> You can let a appetizer get past me, especially if someone else bought them. Now then. Oh, we can't. It's a boring display. Grind the action to a halt, so... Time to make things interesting. Huh? Thrills, kills, kills. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, it's punishment time! <laughs> put, put it, I mean, can I have this execution? No, freaking, there's no way we're leaving you to do that. And if you even try to interfere, we'll just crush you with these here exosols. It's cool, but it's probably better if one person... I wonder what Menefany's story is. Why is she so... Like hell am I just gonna sit here and do what you say? Kaede fought with her life on the line, and so will I. Gonta will face you all. Times like this are why Gonta became strong. Gentlemen never back down, and neither will Gonta. <laughs> Chance to test out my Neo Aikido skills on machines. Yeah, I'll help. I can. Everyone, stop! I figured Kaede would be the one to stop them. Stop it. Because she actually wants to be executed for what she did. I... Enough, you. I've already prepared myself. You're giving up? Why? You said you'd never... You said we'd get out together. That's what you said, Kaede. Damn it. Why are you giving up now? did not you mean what you said? I know we can do so... Don't give up until the end. No. Oh my... I am not saying that line. Huh? You know? Even after... My wish will still be here. So I'm counting on you all. I'm trusting my wish to every one of you. I believe in you! I believe that... You will all make through this somehow. Don't go dying on me now. This is this killing game. Survive. Get the hell out of this place. It's a promise. And then be friends after you escape, okay? I think you'll all be the best of friends. Yeah. I shall take that request. I won't get, I'll get out of here no matter what. Go to work hard and keep friends safe till very end. Bye. Well, Kaede, you definitely weren't boring. Wait, wait, Kaede, please don't. Hey. Shuichi, you better not lose. You can't lose! It's punishment time! I believe in you! So please, believe in yourselves. It's a promise. Let's see it. Wow. 
Wow. I'm surprised that didn't just snap her neck right there. Live or live? Probably live. Wow, there's spikes all behind her. What will pull her back onto her, though? Nothing. Mono Dam finally got his revenge on Mono Kid. Cannot say I'm sad about that. Mono Kid's been a jerk the whole game. All right. And with that, I will be ending this episode because I have been playing this game for like three hours at this point. <laughs> Thank you very much for tuning in, guys. I will see you all in the next one. Keep in mind, I will probably be missing a couple of days upload because give people time to actually catch up with all this because it went on for a while. But it was, it, was, it was very worth it. Even though, again, I will restate my complaints that I don't feel like I was had a legitimate opportunity to figure that out ahead of time because key information was intentionally withheld from me. Now, granted, with what they did, they kind of had to, but still... That sort of undercuts the entire purpose of the trial in my... I mean, like, the funnest part of the game is figuring it out for yourself. And then when there's information that you don't get access to, it, it, it undercuts the... So I, I, I do hope that this is not a trend. I hope that it's not going to be, like, you can't actually figure out any of the trials ahead of time. Because that will be lame. But, see you next time, guys. Yeah,